Taurus. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and charliesangeltarot.com on my uh, website. Eighth grade to see you and this is your reading for the 9th to the 15th of March 2020 and here in the corner you will see a little white dot. Click on that and it will take you through to the website. Please leave a reaction behind if you visit it and let me know what you think of it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would be grateful if you would. Um, it is also in your own interest. You don't have to click the button if you don't want to be uh, uh, notified. Um, but, but click on the subscription and it will save the channel in your library. Then you can find the channel back at your own ease and leisure. And please, would you share this with family and friends and give us the thumbs up. And that will keep us in the ratings, in the search robot. Okay. Well, I'm going to start off with a crystal ball reading. I've got this beautiful crystal, a smoky quartz, uh, from my sister. She's been to the Himalayas and she's bought this back for me. And I'm going to polish it up first. Um, a Taurus, because I'm using it for all the readings. And get your energy into this crystal ball. Okay. It amazes. It is amazing, this crystal ball. It's lovely. There we go. And it's, it is amazing what you can get from a crystal ball. Okay, let me see. I've also got new de decks and I will be going into that later. Um, Taurus, what is the matter with you? Are you feeling out of sorts? I feel um, you're up and down, up and down too much. You're not feeling happy in yourself. What is the matter? You're not... Uh, I'm seeing a, a star here. Uh, that you've got too much in your head. You're too busy thinking. You have to come into action. Stop sitting around. Stop sitting around. Open that solar plex. Open that heart chakra. Let love in. Don't be scared. You know, I mean... Perhaps you've closed yourself off because you've been hurt so much and too much, too many things have been happening after another. It's like the um, eight of wands, things happening all at once and at a big fast speed. Well, darlings, if you close yourself off for the negative, you are also closing yourself off for the positive. So, um, Okay, I can understand you taking time out and meditate or contemplate, and that's very good. We all need to do that from time to time to recoup, regroup, and get back to what is at hand. I'm also seeing a number eight. Come back into your power. And there's also, you're in your money house at the moment. There might be something concerning money. There are different options, as I've got, uh, I don't know, you, I don't know whether you've seen it, it's a circle with legs in the circle, and it goes round and round and round, and that is what you're doing, you're running from, from this place to that place to that place, you're too busy, relax, listen to your intuition about people who are helpful and who do love you. Remember that and let people in so that you can make more friends that you can build on. 
It takes time to trust. Remember that. Remember it takes time to trust. And don't spread yourself too thin. Because it's not their fault. It is your fault if you are spreading yourself too thin. You're getting too tired. And you can't go out. You can't be with your friends. And then you feel left out. So get out of your bubble. That is what I'm hearing. Get out of your bubble. Start easily. Start only going out at daytime and not in the evening. Don't burn the candle on both sides. That is, I'm seeing two sides in here, uh, not because of the facets, but there is like a candle. I see a candle. Don't upside down. Don't burn the candle on two sides. Sometimes you're not on this planet. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling. You're not on this planet sometimes. And don't be as hard as a rock. Don't be as hard as a rock. Wow. Take, I see a tree in here. So family is important. You've, I, I, I firmly believe that you, most of you will feel rooted and safe where you are, but don't, um, don't lock yourself away, don't isolate yourself, go out and enjoy yourself, but don't burn the candle on two ends. We take time to rejuvenate and load up those batteries. Okay. Then you can sparkle. Then you'll be the star again. You'll be in the limelight. Okay. You might feel out of sorts, but you will come back. So long you take time out to rejuvenate. Remember, call upon the divine or the universe and your angels. They will help. There are plenty of people around you if you are in a dip. So my advice is come out of your dip and seek friendship and ask Archangel uh, Raphael to help you heal your heart. I also see green on this side and yellow. So that's the heart chakra and the solar plex chakra. Okay, open your heart and open your solar plex. Love yourself a little bit more, then you start being the beacon and shining it out, and others will see this. Okay, Taurus. Now we're going on to the cards. Hi, Taurus. I'm going on to your card reading. This is the deck from Monica, from Monica um, Kordersky. I think her name is very difficult. If you would like to see what the cards are like, all of the cards, I go into them in the review, which is out now um, on YouTube. And I will be updating um, my website in a couple of days uh, or tomorrow because I need to update it. I'm so busy. I haven't got the romance readings out either. And we are already in May. And I'm using the Enchanted Dream Tarot, Metatron, and the Angel Feather deck. So, this is in addition to the crystal reading, and I've taken a break, and I do that as well when I'm on a fair. I take breaks after each client, so I get a clean and clear energy. So I don't carry any energy around with me from the previous client or from a previous reading. Remember, this is a general reading, and if it doesn't resonate with you, then please have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. So this is the deck. This is one of my favorites. You've got the Ten of Wands uh, by Jasmine Westwood. And you can also find a review on this if you would like to 
get to know these beautiful cards. That's Monday, midweek, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and the overall energy. Wow, you've got two pages. Okay, so news is coming in big time for you. Now we're going on to um, Monica Bordiski. I'm sorry, Monica, if I'm getting your uh, name wrong. I really am. I were, was given this deck by the author and illustrator. And she, it is such a beautiful deck. If you love the Adams family, go and have a look at the review. And this is beautiful as well. She is, she works with nature. She is a witch. She's also, uh, to me, that's a healer, a pagan. Uh, she uh, respects Mother Earth and the environment. And she's all, every deck that she sells, a dollar will go to the Bat Foundation in Canada. We need our bats and bees because they make sure that the bees make sure that the plants get fertilized and the bats make uh, make sure that insects, bad insects are eaten and keep the environment in balance. That is Metatron and the angel feather is there as well, but it's out of sight. Um, oops, well, I'll just put it there and there you go. That is your angel feather that is popped out. And this is your Metatron card, and I'll get back to them later. Okay, um, it is pretty late at night, but I do want to get these six months or six signs out, because like I said, I haven't even got round to doing the romance cards. On Monday the 9th, you have the Ten of Wands. You have carried a heavy load. Here you can see she's taking a rest. Don't give up now because the you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Look at all that light. Literally and figuratively, the end is here, Taurus. And not only that, but there is a new beginning coming your way. So... Don't give up. Be the example. You can be a beacon. Beacon. And a beacon means you can be the light to show the way how it can be done by persevering. And um, you might have been burning the candle in both ends to get to your goal. You have worked really hard. Your perseverance will pay off. Look at this. You've got again a number one. A ten becomes a number one. You've got the rider. You might be getting a visitor or you might be going to visit. You might be going somewhere with speed. As this, <laughs> um, I think it's crazy, but I love it. This spider has got another bug on its back as the rider and it's going really fast well you go fast with six legs there's a new beginning news coming in as well then you have the four of swords it is midweek it is time to take time out it is warning you to meditate contemplate sit quietly and look what you can leave behind what is of no use to you Perhaps it is also saying, take a break, slow down. Don't go that fast. You've had a heavy period. Don't get burnt out. Okay, take a break. Go and visit a family member or a friend just to contemplate. Perhaps um, exchange ideas for the new beginning that is at hand in the beginning of the week, but it could also be any time of the week. You've got number 39, so that is 9 and 3 is 12, and 12 becomes a 3. You'll be creative. Now, the hand, this deck has got 5 extra cards, and the number 39 is the hand. You are, it's like holding the world in your hand. 
you have the power. You've got it in your own hand to um, do what you want. It is your destiny. Let You must um, decide what you want to do and how to do it. Which road to take. You are creative enough. The basic meaning from Monica is what is your destiny? Although we can exercise free will during our lives, there are many things that are believed to be predetermined and beyond our control. When this card appears, look to the surrounding cards to determine what appears to be your fate as opposed to what is in your control. So what is your fate? Your fate is that you've worked hard, you've endured a lot of issues, heavy period, and now it's time for rest. Now it's time to contemplate what you want for the future and how you are going to continue on which path. You hold the key. It is in your hands to make your destiny. On Friday, we have the Page of Cups. You might actually be meeting a Cancer, a Scorpio or a Pisces. You will be getting news. This could also be from a water sign. This could be a very emotional news. This could be happy news. This could be also sad news, but you will get news. I think it will be news from a friend. And I think it will be very heartwarming news. Like I said, you might take a break and you might go and see a friend as you've got the rider. You are thinking about your future, which path you're going to take. And you might have discussed this with a friend. And you're finding out that this friend is loyal and trustworthy because that is what the dog means. This dog is chained up. Look at that. Now, I don't know these cards very well, but it's the bug. And the dog... <laughs> Or the bug is wearing a dog's mask and is being held on. Look at the lead. So you take the lead. And this, the dog really means don't be led. So listen to your friend. They are loyal and they're trustworthy. You have found, perhaps it is a water sign and you realize that they're awesome. And that you can really trust them because the water signs are nurturing, loving and passionate. But they also stand for sexy in sexuality. Perhaps they might have said, well, you have to improve yourself. You have to take care of yourself. Make yourself sexy or sensual. Uh, be noticed. You've had good advice. Again, you've got an 18, that becomes a 9, an end of a face. There's news, perhaps love, perhaps love. Perhaps a friendship is going to change into a relationship with a water sign. Then you've got the two of pentacles. Perhaps you are uh, balancing your heart and mind, your heart and soul. Perhaps financial issues, perhaps work and home. Perhaps that is making you emotional. After all, it is Mercury retrograde, which makes you more sensitive. Listen also to your intuition and your new ideas, especially when you take time out as you have the Four of Swords. Perhaps you, sorry for the blowing, but I do that when I'm letting go of negative energy. I feel your energy, your heaviness, your endurance, your thinking, churning, 
Your mind has been churning. Take time out. Take the time out and contemplate and literally lighten your load. Throw away what is of no use to you. Okay. Be a light headed. And this is also what I'm getting from this card. This is the child, child. But here it's a balloon. The head is a balloon. Be light headed. Do you get it? It might be a joke. But be light headed. Be more childlike. Come out of your head. Enjoy life. Be light. Let air come into your solar plexus. Take that breath. That's why I, I took this card and I, I had to go, now I understand. So breathe in the positive energy through the nose, like we do in the live sessions. That's awesome. You feel at peace afterwards. If you have pain, I know about pain 24-7. Um, but after such a healing in the live session, and thank you to my cyber angels and all my viewers, because together we stand strong, and I believe that solidly. And I don't have pain anymore after I've done a session with my cyber family. If you would like to join the Simon family, please subscribe and hit that bell. I'd be grateful, but uh, you don't have to hit the bell to be notified if you don't want to be notified. But save the channel, uh, because when you subscribe, it will be saved in your library. But coming back to this, my darling Taurus, um, be lightheaded. In the positive sense. You can be lightheaded, but you... Um, uh, might forget things doesn't matter doesn't matter so long you can come back because look at the string it's attached so this girl will pull on that string she's in charge of her head her mind and she will stick it back on and she will go forward on the path awesome yes so Take control. Make the decisions. But take time out. Now at the end of the tarot deck, we have the Page of Wands. Overall, this week you will realise what you would like. Because the Page of Wands is a Sagittarius, Aries or a Leo. And the fire signs go for what they want. They know what they want. They take action. They're logical about it and creative. Like I said, you might have a new passion coming in. You might get news about passion as you have the uh, page of hearts. You know what you want. Perhaps it's a fire sign that you want. Perhaps you want action with somebody. But you will get news very fast and this could be about a new job as action is job a creative is hobby you might be go wanting to go on holiday that might be your hobby traveling and the overall energy from the Lenamum is the bear and the bear means that you can stand your ground and you can uh, defend yourself and here you can see the bear is hibernating. You, the time that you've had to take out is over. Spring is here. The new beginning. You're back in balance. You've got number 15, which is a six. You're back in balance. Awesome. This new beginning is giving you balance. Now we're going first to the angel feather card and you've got sunlight, yellow angel feather, yes, spring, a, uh, sun is again, things are blossoming, you've got your head screwed on now, okay, yes, and the uh, sun 
Sun is also the strength card, the summer card, Leo, August, and on and on I can go. You definitely have a prominent power of fire, action. You are strong and tough. You will defend your rights and what you love. That is what the bear, bear means. You will defend what, is, what you love and what you're passionate about. You are big enough, strong enough and to stand your ground. Forget about the people that could be jealous. There's also luck on your side. The yellow sunlight, ye a yellow angel feather. Happiness awaits you. The angels ask that you feel happy and optimistic. There are bright days ahead for you. Boom, boom. The Ten of Wands. You can eat or drink lemon or lemon juice with hot water in the morning. It's very good for detoxing and cleaning out the system. And I've been told it's also good for the digestive system and wrinkles. Now, the Archangel Metatron. Wake up call, listen and take note. Yes, listen and take note. You've got number 11. You've got an angel number. I don't know whether you can see it. Number 11, it's dark at night and the lighting is bad, but you have to take my word for it. Listen and take note. Take time out. Evaluate your situation which path you are going that is your destiny you have the choice you will receive news perhaps about your destiny a new job a new love you will discover that this friend it could be a friend that's changing into a love relationship or it could be a passion that is changed a passionate friendship or relationship is turning into love. You will find emotional balance so long you keep your head screwed on and know what your destiny is. It's a wake-up call. Happiness awaits you. The heavy times are over, Taurus. So long you take time out. So be open for new beginnings, be open for visitors. Get out of there. Get out there, mingle, make friends. That is your message. And if you would like to know more about these cards or the Metatron cards or um, the Angel Feather cards, then go to the place playlists. But I've just uh, realized that some of my reviews have been removed by Google. I will update them and so go to the little white dot here in the corner and in the coming weeks and I will do new, new reviews on the Angel Feather card, on the Archangel Michael cards, um, those are not on the table, but uh, Archangel Metatron. They are so exciting. They are a super hit. Um, a lot of people are coming back and saying, I've ordered them. And wow, they're magic. Thanks for the review. And I'm glad. I'm happy. I've done it. And I could do it and share beautiful things with all of you. Whether you're cyber angels or readers. I'm open to collaboration and suggestions so please go to my website and leave a reaction behind if you have an idea i love you all be blessed and i hope you have a beautiful week and i hope to see you in the life if not i hope to see you in the next video ciao ciao remember together we stand strong so please share and like and it's awesome when the family grows. Ciao, ciao. Love you all.